Welcome back, everybody. So today uh, I will uh, do some snatches from blocks. I will do here my blocks from discs. Then some snatch high pulls, then snatch sauce press, okay? This is the workout here. But I will skip the PVC pipe and overhead squat warm up because I'm already warmed up. I filmed some how-to videos from the how-to playlist. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for it. The bar needs to be under my knee. So I will focus on the power position. Then not focus on the knees to make way for the barbell, barbell to go up, okay? So it's gonna be from here, straight into the snatch. And I'm gonna use straps, okay? Normal grip with straps. So focus on the technique. So the shoulders need to be above the bar, also in this position, okay? So basically, starting from the blocks, I won't do this part of the movement, okay? But the position is the same one. It's not from here, it's from here. If you didn't see the tip with the spinning barbell, Check out my previous video, so you'll understand why I do this. Being from Torokti website, snatch from blocks is often performed from above or below the knee level, depending on the goals and tasks of the training session. When performing this exercise, it is necessary to apply a much greater starting force and develop power during acceleration phase, since the barbell's path to the power position is shortened. This is a great way to work out power in the pull and speed in dropping under the barbell. Also, snatch from blocks with light weight can be an excellent alternative when it is necessary to unload your legs and back, since these body parts are loaded less when working with a short range. I also don't like to do the... It's called donkey kick. Like this. This, in my opinion, it's only for... Uh, intimidation in the training hallway where you have a competition okay this is a style where it's stitched in i think yeah romania definitely uh, bulgaria also some parts of the europe also in usa yeah so it's, it's from toes they go like this i like more the style where it's small slide it's uh, more uh, elegant it's not better or worse, it's just different style. It's only preferences, that's it. I'll do one set like this. Yeah, so I don't feel like I'm more you know, confident or stable in the movement. On the contrary, I, don't know. I like the other style, and that's it. So when you go down with the bar, if you have to do more than one rep, it's gonna be the same path, bar path, okay? It's not gonna be here, like, it's gonna be one, okay, another one, then put it back in the same way you went with it up. If it's just one, you can drop it if you have a, at least a 10 kilo disc on each side. I think that in uh, Olympic weightlifting, it's a regulation that you need to 
drop the bar after the bar passes your shoulders. If not, if you drop it from here, it's a no rep, I think. I don't know why, because you end it with it here. Yeah, so in my opinion, yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not a professional, so it's just a personal opinion. If you come here with the bar and you drop it, it's a good rep, yeah, because you, you finished the snatch. Okay, but who knows? Also, the quickness, the maximum quickness in the snatch is after the first pull, okay? When the bar uh, passes the knees. So it's slow and controlled, then whoop, all the way up. It's not 100% from the bottom, like It's controlled, then quick. I like to take air in, just like in clean, to do a, okay, it's not in, in the chest, yeah, well, a little bit in the chest, but it's a lot in my diaphragm, okay? It's, so I can have a stable core, okay? So my, my breathing is here. And then go up. From here is like, just a little bit, okay? It's like, and you see my, my belly pumping like I saw some Olympic weightlifting uh, yeah professionals they breathe something like and they and they pump their chest like I I don't know how some diaphragm exercises but I have no idea how they do that I didn't lock the second one. If you saw it, I did it maybe like <laughs> this. Now we go to uh, high pulls from bench. It's touch and go. For this one, I took the 15 kilo bar. And if these ones go smooth, then I will do with uh, the 20 kilo bar. Because needs to be light. It's three sets, eight reps of light sort press. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna try with a 20. So you saw me starting like this, but then I went up a little bit, so my position will be with activated legs, okay? Not like this, but a bit here.
Yeah, it was okay. I'm gonna show you this one from the side to see the overhead position. Three sets, one minute each. Ooh, wow, <laughs> very good for lower back, core, abs, ass, everything. Surprise, mother! Well guys, thanks for watching. It was a very nice workout for me. I had uh, two big spoons of, of uh, homemade honey before uh, coming to the gym. So I think that energy was uh, from the honey. It was a positive energy. The reps were good. I'm very good, very, very happy with uh, how it went today. Again, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment, please. Any kind of comment, it will help the algorithm. Until next time, Keep on being active. That's a wrap for today.